What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are doing a laid back chit chatty beauty haul video. I have accumulated a lot of stuff. This is actually over like a while. Not like I just went out and bought all this stuff in one day. And we have a really good mishmash. I have high end stuff. I have drugstore stuff. We have skincare, hair, makeup from a variety of different stores. I have some stuff from Ulta, some from Sephora, from different online retailers, CVS. So we got a good mix and we'll just hang out and chat beauty. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can notify of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay let's jump to ulta I have ulta cvs all that kind of stuff here i grabbed these from ardell these caught my eye these are the naked extensions so they're basically like individual little lash extensions they're like little individual clusters and it says up to two week wear so very interested to see how these work like i said you can get them at ulta they had a couple different like styles the one that i just got is the soft 3d volume We'll see. Also grab some drugstore newness. So I have a new mascara from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Topia Lash Blast Mascara. So it's supposed to be like a clean mascara. I have never really found a clean mascara that really works for my lashes, unfortunately. Like I would love to, but most of the time they do like nothing for my lashes. So excited about this. And I also grabbed this new Revlon Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil. So tiny little micro brow. You guys know I love like little drugstore brow pencils. And yeah, Revlon have this new one. So I just grabbed it in the shade Soft Brown. I did also grab some new lippy. So this is not super, super new from L'Oreal. They came out a little bit ago, but this is their L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lip Lipstick, and I got this in the shade 420 Le Rouge Paris. It's like a bright red. I actually got this at CVS, not Ulta, but I thought that looked really, really pretty. I love like deeper, darker colors like this in the fall. And obviously as we move into the holiday season, I love a good red lip. So always on the hunt for a great one from the drugstore. And then I also grabbed two of the new Milani lip oils. So they came out with new lip oils for the fall, which I was really excited about. I really like the Milani lip oils. I think they're one of the best at the drugstore. And they came out with these pretty new ones for fall. So I got the shade Lychee Nectar and then Honey Fig. So Honey Fig is like a little bit of a deeper brown Lychee Nectar. Very similar to actually the color that I have on my lips here. I'll swatch them on my hand to show you guys these two. I will definitely include these in an upcoming video, but they're very light. Again, they're a lip oil, so they're not gonna, you know, add like a ton of color. Really more for hydration and a little bit of color to the lips, but those are those two kind of swatched. I also grabbed a L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. This one is in the shade Light Glow. I normally use Medium Glow, but I feel like as we move into like the fall and winter and stuff, I wanted to get a shade lighter, so I had it on hand too. So I grabbed that, and I got this new little Real Techniques product. I actually got some Real Techniques brushes too. They came out with a new brush set that was beautiful at Ulta, so I'll show you guys that in a second, but I got this Miracle 2-in-1 Powder Puff. Basically, what this is it's supposed to be like the regular orange beauty blender sponge on one side and then the other side is like a powder puff sort of side so you can use this side for powder and then the orange side on the back to blend in your foundation i saw somebody using this on tiktok and i was kind of like oh that's cool like having it all in one tool okay these were the real technique brush sets that i was talking about how pretty are these i was like oh my goodness so it's called the new nudes so i got the eye set and the face set so they also had they did have a sponge set too where they had nude sponges but i have enough makeup sponges but the face set I really liked because it had a lot of dense like face brushes which is what I personally love when it comes to like creams to apply so I thought that these would be really really nice and aesthetically they are obviously beautiful so it's a four pack for that and then for the eyes you get five different eye brushes and then you also get a tape so you can kind of tape the side of your eye to get a really sharp edge it's like more geared towards smoky eye that's kind of what the tools are geared towards. So I thought that these were really, really nice. So grabbed them. Okay, up next, I got a bunch of new masks from my Foreo UFO. I just got the brand new one. So this is the UFO 3 from Foreo Sweden. I wanna thank them so much for partnering with me on this section of today's video and sending me out this new device. I had the original one for such a long time and I love that. It's basically like a deep hydration device. Y'all know I have dry skin. And if you are part of the dry skin club like me, you are going to love this. It makes your masks so so much more effective and your skin so much more hydrated. So this is the one that I've used for a really long time. This is the H2 overdose. It's not a new one. This is like my go-to mask from them. I'll show you guys on the screen how you use this. You just apply the mask to the UFO3 device and then you can select your treatment. There are eight different preset treatments and then you can go in and use the device. You basically just massage the mask formula into your skin with circular motions around the face until the treatment ends. I had it on the red light thermotherapy and T-sonic setting. So it gets nice and warm and the thermotherapy can help soften and prep 
prep the skin so you can really get the full benefits from your skincare ingredients. The red light's also great to combat signs of aging. And the T-Sonic massage basically helps to gently relax the facial tension points and boost circulation. So it will make your skin more refreshed and glowy looking. And this only takes about two minutes. So it's not gonna take a lot of time out of your day. That's why I like it better than like traditional sheet masks. Cause those you have to let sit on your skin for like quite some time to really see a difference. And I know we don't all have all that time. So this is literally more effective than a sheet mask in just two minutes. So it's gonna take way less time, but still gonna give you that beautiful hydrated glow to the skin. And it's going to make your skin so glowy and hydrated. Like, especially as we move into fall, winter, my skin gets even more dry. So I know that I am going to be using this. This is why I'm so excited to have some new masks to try. I got the Youth Junkie. I also got the Manuka Honey, which is the revitalizing mask. And then the Acai Berry for smoothing. So super excited to try all these. So I will link the UFO3 down below in the description box, as well as all of the different masks. They have a bunch of different options, but they did hook us up with a deal. The first 100 of you are gonna get 21% off. So like I said, all that information is going to be linked down below in the description box. I'll also put it here on the screen. So click there and check it out if you want to shop. Okay, up next, let's jump to a few things that I grabbed at Sephora. So the first thing I grabbed is from Color Wow. I've really been liking their hair products recently. And this is the Dream Filter for Picture Perfect Color. So it is a pre-shampoo mineral remover. So what really stood out to me on this is this says it filters out color destroying minerals found in tap water that dull, darken, and distort color. So my tap water here at my house, I feel like is very different than I had at my prior house. And it's way worse, to be honest. Like I feel like my hair was totally fine at my old house. And then when we moved here, I definitely saw a difference in my hair. And for a long time, it took me a really long time to figure out like, okay, what is causing this? And I'm like 99% sure it's the water. We have well water here, which I feel like is like a harder water. I've tried different filters and stuff. I do have a filter on my shower, which I do think helps. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, another product probably can't hurt. And like I said, I really like the Color Wow Raise the Root. I like the Dream Coat and a couple of their other products. So I decided to give this a try. You basically apply this to your dry hair, then you let it sit for like, I think it says three minutes, one to three minutes, and then you can go in and shampoo and condition like normal. So I will definitely keep you updated on if this works. I'm really, really hoping so, because I've had some funky stuff like happen to my hair since we've lived here. And it definitely has to be like the water. So hopefully, this is the answer to my problems. Up next, I grabbed a Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is in the shade Riri. I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I actually have the one in the shade Sweet Mouth on my lips right now, but I thought this one would be really, really pretty for fall. It's like a little bit of a darker, sort of purpley undertone, but nothing like too crazy. Ooh, yes, that's pretty. Obviously I have a lot of gloss on. I don't really need any extra right now, but this is just a little bit darker and I feel like would go with, you know, my nude colors that I wear, but then also like some more berry, darker colors for fall. So I grabbed that. I don't believe this is new. I just like the shade, so that's why I got it. One thing that is new is this is from Dr. Dennis Gross. I was really interested. I thought this would be like an interesting TikTok or reel like to see how it works. This is a 3D visible plump and repair. So it's basically a volumizer that's supposed to immediately plump your lips when you use it. And then I believe it's also supposed to just like increase, like over time it's gonna make your lips more hydrated and stuff, which is going to make them appear bigger, I guess. I don't know. I wanted to see. This could definitely be a gimmicky product. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Kelly Shock Official. Like I said, I thought this would be interesting for like a short little video to test it out if you guys want me to use in a long form YouTube video, I can do that as well too. Let me be the pity pig and test and see if it works. You know, if it actually is gonna pump the lips or it's just like a gimmick. But Dr. Dennis Gross has good stuff. So that's what gives me hope. Like a lot of his skincare products I've tried, I've liked. So I have high hopes that it would not be a gimmick from them. You know what I mean? We'll see. And then I also grabbed the Amica Hydro Rust in Hydro Rush intense moisture mask for the hair. I got a lot of hair stuff. I didn't even really realize that, but I did get a lot of hair stuff. Um, just a little moisturizing like in shower mask for the hair. Okay, I got this from Best Buy. Never did you guys think, or never did I think at least, that I would be including a product from Best Buy in a beauty makeup haul video on my channel. But uh, I was shocked to learn that they do have some beauty products at Best Buy. Um, and that's where I got this from. And I was honestly so impressed. I ordered it and it came to my house the next day. Like I was like, is Best Buy the new Amazon? I don't know. But let's crack this open. Literally gonna use a tweezer because I don't have a scissor here. The story behind this purchase is this is a Dyson Airwrap attachment. So I have the OG original Dyson Airwrap when it first came out a long time ago. And on the original Dyson Airwrap, the curling wands that come with it, there's two different ones because they were directional. So there was like one for one side of your head and one side for the other side of your head. You had to change them out and they were quite short. These are the old ones, like the original. So you can see, obviously this one is much wider and also much, much longer. So I will be able to curl my hair a lot faster with this. I thought I had to buy the whole new like Dyson again to be able to get these new attachments, which I was not about to do. And then I really 
realized that you could actually just buy the attachments like on their own and they will still work with the original. So I was really, really excited about this. I feel like it'll be a really good upgrade. And they do sell these at Sephora, but this one specifically, the long 1.6 one has been sold out for a really long time on the website. I had kind of been tracking it on there and then I searched it and I saw that they had it at Best Buy and I was like, wait, what? So that's where I ordered it from. They had it in stock. Like I said, free shipping came literally the next day. So I am very, very excited about this and cannot wait to use it in action. Up next, we have some Amazon purchases. So Amazon is honestly underrated when it comes to beauty products. Let me tell you, they have a ton of makeup on there. Sometimes the viral new drugstore releases when you go in store, you can never find them because they're always sold out check Amazon. I get a lot of my stuff when I can't find it in store on there. But another thing that I always buy on Amazon is lashes. They have such good lashes for so cheap. All of these sets were like under $10 and you get so many lashes. So I can link these exact sets down below. I like half lashes. So I got these kind of wispy ones. They're definitely still very fluttery and like dramatic, but all of these sellers and brands have like a million different lash styles. So even if you don't like half lashes or these specific styles, there's always like a bunch of different options. These ones I thought were really nice and like natural and fluttery. So I grabbed those and they're not too long. Sometimes I don't want like a really long lash, just want something natural. And then I also got this one where there's 10 pairs. This is a big pack with these fluttery lashes. These one also claim to look like lash extensions. That's like the thing now. We don't want to get the lash extensions. We just wanted to look like we have them. It's always something, but I thought these were really, really pretty. And like I said, so affordable. I get so many lashes off of Amazon all the time, but I will link these specific ones down below. And the last two things I have, I grabbed a backup of my Too Faced Born This Way. A lot of you guys in one of my recent videos were like, where I was talking about like my favorite foundations. I think it was actually on a TikTok or a reel. You were like, wait, what about Too Faced Born This Way? Cause I featured another foundation and I was like, I still love it. It's just been a while since I used it. And honestly, the one I had was so far pushed back in my drawer and had basically nothing in it. So I had been trying like a bunch of new foundations, but you guys sparked me to go get it again. I was like, I missed that foundation. I love it. So I grabbed the backup of my shade, which is natural beige. This is always a go-to. So, so good. So grabbed that. And then I also grabbed this Pixie On The Glow bronze stick. This I'm pretty sure I got at Target. They normally have the best stock of pixie stuff, at least by me. I had tried the blushes that they had that were from in like the stick form and I did like them, but now they have bronzers. So this one is in the shade Rich Glow. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put some on my hand. I actually thought this would be pretty like on the body. Cause to me, I don't know that I would necessarily use like a glowy bronzer like this on my face, but I thought like on my shoulders or chest, like blend it out would be really nice. And I liked that it was in a stick. So it's easier than like a glow body lotion product that you have to like really work in and stuff like this would just be easy to throw on my purse and add it on if I wanted to. So that's kind of why I grabbed this, not necessarily for my face, but it's technically meant to be used on the face. So either way, but that's what I thought that I would pretty much use it for. So got that and that, is everything you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.